Hey guys, welcome back. Quick one today. Uh, if you have one of these, the OBS Chevy pickup trucks, the 88 to 98, I believe, are the years. That is four wheel drive, and your four wheel drive quit has quit working. Follow along, and I'm going to show you the quick and easy fix with only one tool. If you ever have that happen to you, I'll tell you what's going on is probably this guy right here. Okay, this is the electronic is all it is is a solenoid that pushes in and engages your front differential. And uh, if you wanted to run the test, you could you could take the solenoid out and hook it up to your battery and watch it push out or not. You take a screwdriver, push it in the hole there while you roll the front drive line, and uh, you know watch the front wheels engage and make sure the four wheel drive works inside the differential. But we've know that this one, this is it. We've tested everything works except for this thing right here. So. We went down to Napa, picked up a new one, and I'm gonna show you the quick way to swap that out. Okay, like I said, one tool to fix this thing. All you really need is, well, the appropriate size wrench, or you could just use a crescent wrench. Uh, a big one, we're gonna undo this thing, pull it out. We're gonna undo this clip right here and pop that guy loose. And then it's just a matter of replacing the other one, putting it in. So follow along as I knock that out. Okay, the clip rides, uh, the electrical connection rides on a little clip right there. All I gotta do is slide it up, pop it loose from there. But it's as simple as pulling this guy loose there. And then we come in here with our metric Crescent wrench and get this guy going and we'll just take this dude out. Okay, got it out. Okay, so if you got the old OBS truck, uh, 88 to 98, I believe, they should all be the same, but double check, here's what it took on this one. It's an Eklund part. We got it down in Napa, and here's your part number right there. Again, there's a two pin and one with multiple pins. Make sure you have the right one. We went with the two pin. Okay, so we got our old one out, right? So the first thing we do, obviously, is we're gonna do the old comparison. Put a little grease on the hood of the truck. Do the comparison, make sure it looks like the same animal before we open up the package. It looks like it is. Uh, one thing I'd say is that uh, this, I mean, this does go right into the different. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little bit of silicone and I'm gonna put a little silicone around the back of that so when it goes in, it seals. Okay, so here we go, got a little bit of silicone on there. Uh, now all I'm gonna do is crawl back underneath the truck, reverse the process, slide this guy in, tighten it down, put the clip back on, and then we gotta just go test it out. All right, so there you go. The new uh, solenoids installed were connected there. In fact, I'm gonna disconnect that. And I'm gonna wrap my wire up over the axle so it's not dangling down here. And then all that's left to do is go out and smoke test it. Give it a shot. Go out there in the uh, snow and make sure the four wheel drive works. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this was quick and easy. You can see some of these projects. This will cost you a couple hundred bucks. You take it into the shop and have it done. Uh, the part was 70 bucks down at Napa and it took a crescent wrench in 10 minutes of my life to swap it out so hope you guys enjoyed hit the subscribe button share this with a friend and uh enjoy some of the other videos on the channel while you're here thanks take care follow along and i'm going to show you the quick and easy fix with only one tool i guess i'm the tool <laughs>